Hey, Salam, all. all glorification, honor, and praise is due only unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, along with the bishops, was a quanyam, who rule and teach the lambs well, and salutations to the elect of Yasharala, the Bayashada, without a house of David. I'm Shamar Moth. And uh, today is uh, Monday. Uh, January the 22nd, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble as dubbed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh by the elder apostle Tahar. And um, that's what we're all waiting for. All right, us as the hopeful elect men of the Lord. Okay, we're waiting for Jacob's trouble, all right, to pop off. And really, we're in the beginning of sorrows right now. So we already in the infancy stages of it. But, um, you know, something big's coming down the pipe, you know, the last, uh, couple weeks, you know, Akiyam, you know, starting, of course, with the pillars of the church, the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down have been throwing up curses on Babylon, praying, all right, for the Lord to destroy this place. And, you know, we've seen, you know, assassination attempts. We've seen, you know, global IT outages and something huge is coming, man. You know, something gigantic is coming down the pipe. And I'm sure, you know, we all sound like broken records, but it's just the truth, man. All right. We, you know, we're clearly at the end, all right, of uh, Esau, the so-called white man's reign of terror in the earth. Matter of fact, let me get a quick scripture which speaks to that. Uh, milk scripture, of course. Second Ezra. Um, chapter 6, like yeah. And verse 9, right? We're at the end. All right, we're at the end of this world, man. We're at the end of the age. Okay? This system is about to be, you know, destroyed, man. Okay? This empire is going down. Okay? And by the way, uh, Hassad, former member of the Sakari. <laughs> When the Lord comes back, all right, Gog ain't going to rise up for a short period of time and rule. All right, the so-called Russians, all right. Just had to throw that in there. Anyway, 2 Edges chapter 6 and verse 9, and it reads, For Esau is the end of the world, all right? The chief tribe of Esau is who we, we focus on, right? The Amalekites, all right? The Ishes, the small hats, 1948ers. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob, all right, Jacob, being you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right, you're the children of Israel on the earth today. You're, you're, you're the children or the sons of Yasharala. All right, to include you speckled birds as like foreigners. All right, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right, so this place is getting ready to go down. All right, and a new world is, is, is going to be established, man. A new rulership, a new kingdom, man, wherein dwelleth righteousness in the kingdom of heaven. Which will be established on planet Earth. The hub will be, all right, in in the so-called Israeli state. You know where the Israeli state is today. That'll be the hub. Okay, and 144,000 righteous kings and priests will rule. All right, under King David, Malak Dawada, and Yahweh Shai, who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. All right, period. Um. But I wanted to get into this uh, image that you see. I was watching, um, I, w I was watching Infowars Alex Jones uh, earlier today, and um, I came upon this interview. I guess the interviewer is Jesse Waters. I believe he works for Fox News. But then you see uh, DJ Trump right there, obviously, and to the left of DJ Trump, you see uh, his VP. Uh, nominee uh, JD Vance, right? But look at their hands. You see that? Masonic. All right, you people are being played, man. Okay, you people are being played like fiddles. All right, you're ruled by Freemasons, by wizards. Okay, by warlocks. All right, no matter. Okay, what side of the aisle you sit on, okay, that's who rules you, man. All right? These Satan-worshipping Freemasonic devils, 
and you can look up Masonic hand signs and signals and the like all right and you can find out what all this means all right you can go do that on your own time but um, they're telling you man they're putting it right in your faces all right but you have to be spiritual okay to understand the implication all right of uh, images such as this one right here on the screen let me get um, another milk scripture milk scriptures are great man you know have a cup of, of warm milk vocab alone and drown on it uh, second uh, Corinthians uh, chapter 2 and verse 11 lets Satan okay Satan the spiritual demon Satan okay who works for the most high on the left hand side has a physical seed in the earth the Edomites Esau the so called white race alright lest Satan should get an advantage of us okay Paul is of the elect and he's writing to the elect members alright of the church at Corinth okay it says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right. We understand that, that Freemasons, okay, are your presidents, okay, they're your politicians, they're your mayors and governors and police chiefs and fire chiefs, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? We understand that. And we, we understand that they work through, okay, uh, even Jake entertainers, okay, actors, Okay, singers, etc. Okay, we understand all this, man. We're not ignorant of his schemes, all right, or his devices, all right, or his or of his way of doing things. But again, something big is coming down the pipe, man. And at the end of the day, it's gonna be order ab chaos. Okay, order ab chaos. All right, it's like your ordo ab chaos, right? Ordo. Let me get it right. Ordo ab chaos, right? Which is order out of chaos. Chaos is coming to this place, man. There's no telling what these elites, which is really Yahweh busts me outside at the end of the day. There's no telling what these elites have planned for you people, man. All right. Another uh, IT outage. This one more severe. All right. Uh, crash in the dollar. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, making Ukraine part of NATO, which would spark off uh, World War III, the Third World, which is coming quickly pursuant to uh, Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14. There's no telling, but something's coming, man, and they're going to uh, 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 stir up the people, okay, to go crazy, man, okay? Chaos will ensue, all right? These, these are fixing to be very chaotic times, all right? And unless you have the Spirit of the Lord you know, dwelling on you, you know, you're not going to make it, man. If you're one of the Lord's people and you don't have the spirit of the Lord, you know, you don't have Rakakwadash and you don't have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you're going to fold up, man. Okay? You're going to you're gonna be ruined. You're going to be destroyed. You're going to be confounded. All right? Um, let me get yet again another milk scripture. In uh, the book of Isaiah, Slakia, chapter um, 33. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge, right? And wisdom and knowledge, right? What comes from these scriptures shall be the stability of thy times, right? The times we're in right now. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh is his treasure. That's right, man. So, what's going to keep you grounded, all right, and settled? Okay, and insane in these perilous times we're in is this wisdom and knowledge, man. And it only comes from the scriptures. Okay, worldly wisdom, worldly knowledge ain't going to do you a damn bit of good, Jake. All right? Ain't going to do you a damn bit of good. Yeah, so when this chaos comes, all right, and it could be a, a variety of different things too. I mean, just, I mean, you know, a, a grid down scenario is on the table. You know, which obviously would be blamed on Russia, China, or North Korea, et cetera, or Iran. Okay, they can send, uh, uh, you know, they can they can nuke a city. Okay, but they're gonna uh, eventually, you know, once the uh, chaos reaches a fever pitch, right? Then they're gonna bring about the order. All right, and how are they gonna restore order? Okay, how are, what are they? What are they gonna uh, roll out? to restore order and confidence among the people, right? That uh, karagma, that micro-c-hip, which is the MOTB, okay? 
That's how they're going to do it. All right? There's no difference between DJ Trump and Joseph Robinette Biden. There's no difference. Matter of fact, there's another image. All right, hold on. This is another image I wanted to bring up. Okay? Because, you know, there's still a whole lot of our people who are trusting in the so-called Democratic Party, which that all goes back to the Democrats and the Republicans goes back to the plebeians and the patricians in the ancient pagan Roman Empire. There's no difference between the so-called Republicans and the so-called Democrats, all right? Two wings of the same diseased Masonic bird, okay? Now, you can read this, right? At the top, there are no sides. They are united in tricking the masses to feud with one another, right? That's what they do, divide and conquer, okay? Stop playing into their game of Hegelian dialectics. You can look that up. The chains of this system will not be broken as long as the people remain divided. Well, and that, you know, that, <laughs> this is obviously done by someone who thinks that, you know, America can be made great again. But the point being is there is no difference between the red states and the blue states. They all work for the same people, man. You can call them the deep state. You can call them the Illuminati. You can call them, uh, you know, whatever, you know, the Luciferians. The globalists, whatever you want to call them, man. They're the Amalekites. Okay? So, and again, they're working, all right, to, to, to they're, they're, they're doing things to incite you people, okay, to rise up. There's going to be civil war here. There's going to be class warfare here. All right? There's going to be uprisings and uproars of the people. Let me get that scripture. Go back to Second Ezra, chapter 9. Okay? Second Ezra chapter 9. You have to be, you know, well, say you. When we do these videos, we talking to ourselves first and foremost, man. We ain't pointing our finger at y'all, man. Because the, the, the first person I'm speaking to right now is myself. Okay, we got to be circumspect, man. Sober in doctrine and sober when it comes to, you know, in a physical sense as well. Because, again, shit could go down at any second. All right, as, again, as brothers continue to throw up curses on this place, I mean, who knows, man. We could wake up in the morning and there could have, there could be a, a major terrorist attack done taking place here. Okay? So we got to be circumspect, but um, uproars of the people. Second Ezra chapter 9. I'm just going to get right to the point in verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, all right, which you hear about uh, earthquakes going down on the earth, you know, 24-7 in diverse places. All right? And all the prophets spoke about it. All right, our king and Lord Yahushua spoke about earthquakes being in diverse places. All right, in the times we in right now. Right. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and this place is getting ready to be thrown into an uproar, man. All right, and it's going to be along uh, obviously uh, 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 racial lines. It's going to be Jacob versus Esau. But it's also going to be along political lines. All right. Again, the Republicans and the Democrats. And these people are about to go to war out here, man. And these Bubba Patriots, they pissed. All right. And their blessing. All right. Esau's blessing over here is this, that Second Amendment, man. The right to keep and bear arms. They, and who do you think they're going to blame for all this shit? They're going to blame you ninjas, man. Okay. All right, there's, there's going to be uproars here, man. And, 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 and what happened in 2020, that ain't shit. Okay? Whole cities are fixing to be burnt down. All right? It says in verse 4, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High, all right, whose name is Yahweh, I-U-I-C, spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. That's right, man, because the prophets have been on the scene since the beginning, Enoch, the seventh from Adam, was talking about the things that are happening right now. He was talking about uh, Babylon's destruction, all right, America's demise, and Yahushua's return with power and great glory in the ships. I just thought that was interesting through the Spirit. Um, and I wanted to uh, speak on that for, uh, you know, for a minute. Yeah, these, these, uh, these wizards and warlocks and charmers, 
All right, the ones that are really in control and they're in their uh, and they're puppets. Okay, you know they're paid mouthpieces. They're politicians. All right, they're all in on it together, and you know this place is going down, man. So if you're one of the Lord's people, you know repent. The kingdom of heaven's at hand. All right, I hope you was edified through the Spirit, Lord willing, you was. I don't want to write this out with. I don't want to say shalom. It's on to the next video.